Good morning. My name is Alex McAndrew. Before we start the secondary presentation program, I would like to advise anyone who is watching via our live stream at home. Uh, whilst we have exemptions as a school, it's possible that due to the nature, nature of special items and backing music for those items, um, that the streaming service could stop. So if that happens, don't stress. This is all being recorded and it will be uploaded after the service. Thank you. Today we acknowledge our God and Saviour Jesus Christ. We acknowledge you, Lord, because you are the creator, provider and supreme owner of all things. We also respectfully acknowledge the Mikuluna people who are the traditional custodians of this land. We pay tribute to elders past and present and acknowledge that they have cared for this country over countless generations. We recognise the continuing contribu contribute, <sighs> I don't know how to say that, uh, the Nipaluna people make to the life of this region and pray that we can work together to leave a legacy of reconciliation, justice and hope for future Australia. Please stand for the national anthem. pray as we start our ceremony this morning. Dear Lord, what a great year it's been. It's been so amazing hanging around with these guys and, and spending time with them in all sorts of different ways, seeing them grow, seeing them learn, um, seeing them uh, uh, move forward in their, in their academic achievements and in their personal, spiritual, emotional and, uh, and physical achievements as well. And I just pray that as we um, have this ceremony today, as we acknowledge what they've done and the hard work that they've done, the teachers and the, and the students both, I ask that you'll be with us, help us to have a beautiful time together, uh, an acknowledgement of a great year, um, overcoming challenges and moving forward together. Uh, bind us together, we ask, as we, uh, as we have this wonderful ceremony. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to each and every one of you who are joining us in person and online. Distinguished principal, respected staff, teachers, parents and my fellow students, welcome to the secondary end of year program. It is indeed a great pleasure seeing you all gathered here after an unusual school year and we look forward to having a lovely afternoon of celebration together. dropped everything if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Class of 2020, it's been my absolute pleasure to be your homeroom teacher from year 7 to year 10. I remember your first day of year 7 when you're all so small, you're all so scared and you're all having a cry because you couldn't work out your lockers. 
Now, four years later, you're a little bit bigger. You're not so scared, but you're still crying about your lockers. Our morning home rooms together have honestly been one of the highlights of my working day for the past four years, um, especially this past year. It was during this time where we we're able to spend just a little bit of time each morning in community with each other. Um, we've done some wacky things in our homeroom over the years, from feeding fish to memorising motivational quotes to try and amp ourselves up for the day to then burying those fish. Um, but... Um, but we've also... Um, been blessed to get to know each other on another level, which has led to many cool nicknames. So parents, if you're unfamiliar with your child's nicknames, this is a potential name going forward anyway. This can be a name-changing ceremony. Uh, there is Juan. Here she is. There's Millie. There's Egg. Marshall. Goose. Karen. B. J-Dog. Mikhail. Tater. Mm-hmm. Spud, Ma, and Moose. Now, I know parents probably put a bit of thought into naming their children, but yeah, these are pretty legitimate nicknames, so just consider them going forward. Now, while many things have changed about our homeroom routine over the past four years, one thing that hasn't changed and that has stayed consistent is that we start every day with prayer. So this year, Year 10 students were rostered on to lead out in worships each week, and they were to pray for their classmates. When a student was unprepared, I handed them this book. It's a daily walk through Proverbs. And it's a book that aims to provide opportunities to discover God's wisdom each and every day. It's been a blessing to teach you all and hopefully guide you towards this path of wisdom that God has planned for you. However, I do believe that I was also learning from you all the past four years. So before I hand you these certificates that are unfortunately at my feet, I'd like to point out just a few things that each of you have taught me. So, Amelia Juan Bannister, you've taught me that no matter what challenges you may be facing, there's always room for kindness. Millie, you've taught me that it's important to lead from the front. Daniel, the egg finity, you've shown me how important it is to find something that you love to do and the benefits that come when you commit yourself to doing that. Jackson Marshall Flack, you've taught me the ways of Mario Kart 8 and I am eternally grateful. Cheyenne Goose Halley, you've taught me that it's not just important to serve other people, but to seek out those opportunities daily. Karen McCoy, you've taught me that it's okay to cry. Beatrice Nunez, you've reminded me that it doesn't matter how old you are, you can do amazing things if you apply yourself. Joyce J. Dog Akumu, you've taught me that a big smile and a laugh goes a long way, and that it's certainly contagious. Michael Mikhail Shea, you've taught me that we can all speak up and we can all find our voice when it's important to do so. Isaac Tater Tot Skinner, you've taught me that it's okay for a man to enjoy a musical. Hamilton is dope. Friday Spud Thoot, you literally taught me how to ollie a skateboard. So I guess you taught me that you're never too old to learn something new. Ma Tintin. Tin, you taught me that everything's better when everyone is included. And Ilana, the moose boss, you've taught me that a life lived with God at the centre is a joyful one. So thank you all for teaching me something. Thank you for the awesome memories. Uh, thank you for writing the silly, I hope, memorable things I say on the whiteboard in my office. I had great joy taking a photo of it uh, this week. One thing that was up on the whiteboard was actually a Bible verse, and I have no idea who wrote this, but it's one of you did. So thank you for that. It's Isaiah chapter 40, verses 30 to 31. It says, Even the youth grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They'll soar on wings like eagles. They'll run, and they won't grow weary. They'll walk, and they'll not be faint. So as you move on, I hope you remember parts of the school that weren't reported on. I hope you remember to pray in the morning. I hope you remember to devote some time to God every day. And I hope that you treat one another in love. So it's now my pleasure to present these Year 10 certificates to you all. As I call your name, please come up the front and remain here. First one is Amelia Bannister. Good 
Ilana Voss. Amelia Brady. Daniel Finity. Jackson Flat. Cheyenne Halley. Karen Mapoy. Beatrice Nunez. Joyce Akumu. Michael Shea. Isaac Skinner. Friday Thu. And there's also one student who's unable to be here, and that's Martin Tin. While I have the year 10s up here, I would like to present their excellence award. So this is a student who is the Ducks, who has received the highest grades over the largest number of subjects. So congratulations to Beatriz Nunez. Let's give these graduates a round of applause as they sit down. Year 10s, to you first of all, congratulations and well done on completing high school. First step, now what's next? College, university. What a year you've picked for your last year of high school. And I guess we could stand here and tick off all the things we didn't do. High school camp, for example. Did we go on any excursions this year? I'm struggling to think of any. We learned a few new words. COVID. ISO, which I believe is the 2020 word of the year, according to the Macquarie Australian Dictionary. We learned a lot about technology and how to live stream classes and Google Meet. We found out that Staying at home all day wasn't everything it was cracked up to be. Although for some of you, you did enjoy it. Not mentioning any names, Alana. <laughs> we learnt that belonging, the idea of belonging and of being together, is actually an important one. And I think a lot of people missed that this year. The old joke about school being better when there's no students is not true. School is actually better when there are students and when they're coming to class regularly. That was something that we learned this year. But it's always good to recognise that there are some things that have survived 
COVID. And of course, I'd just like to remind you all that Richmond are still premiers in the AFL. As we went through the challenges this year, I'd like to pay a particular tribute to the teachers. Switching from teaching in class with all the immediate feedback that you get when eyes are glazed over, you're probably struggling a little bit with what you're doing, to teaching online where you've just got a series of names and you hope there's a student on the other end. I suspect that sometime there was a name but there wasn't necessarily a person behind it. I saw a lot of creativity, a lot of originality. Videos were produced, PowerPoints, presentations, creative ways of assessing because it's a bit more challenging when you can't just hand a test out and say, sit down, do this, be quiet for 50 minutes and I'll pick them up at the end. How do you assess when you've got to be careful of the authenticity of assessment? So I'd like to say a big thank you and congratulations to the teachers on what they managed to achieve this year. I think that God had this all planned. Even though it is a once in a hundred year event, the last pandemic that went through Australia was in 1920 and I think they used Bribey Island as the quarantine station in those days. In 2020, it was about technology and that was something that we got sorted out last year. I would have hated to have tried to do our COVID isolation time without the students having devices. It was about a chaplaincy grant that we were able to receive from the Commonwealth Government which enabled us to employ Donna, our school psychologist, who was able to work with students both during the online time and after they returned. Our value of belonging, I think, stood out very clearly, not just with the students and the way that they do get on together. I think it's the diversity that we have as a school is one of our strengths. But also the belonging in that, in that as a school we were able to provide support for families who, had, who were finding it difficult during COVID times. But also having some families contact us and say, actually, we don't need that support. Give it to somebody else who is struggling at this time. And I really appreciated that sense of community that our school was able to develop. Some of the other things that we managed to achieve this year, I think, are also important. Many of you were part of our school community in 2016. Probably the less said about that year, the better. But this year we were able to complete re-registration with the Non-Government Schools Registration Board. That is not on silent. We were able to complete registration, re-registration with the Non-Government Schools Registration Board for four years. Uh, credit to the quality of the teaching staff that we have and the work that they put in. And then led by Ms Menzi and Mr McAndrew, we've been able to get permission to start running Year 11 and then into Year 12 over the next two years. That's a tremendous improvement, I think, for our school and gives us a capability and a future that will, should ensure that we're around for a long, long time. In order to do that, we need buildings. We received another grant from the Commonwealth Government this year and I'm meeting with one of the tenderers tomorrow afternoon and hopefully we'll be able to finalise that process shortly. We've gone through the DA, we've gone through the council and got permission for various things. Now it's just a matter of accepting a tenderer and we'll build five primary classes next year and redevelop the science lab which will enable us to move really well into year 11 and 12. As we finish off the year, I'd like to just finish with a verse. It's a verse that became very special to me a few years ago when we were looking at moving to Hilliard 
I think at the end of a COVID year, it's one which really takes in what we need to look at. It's trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Year 10s in particular, I leave that as a challenge for you, for those of you who are leaving our school. Thank you. Hi, my name is Amelia Brady and this is Amelia Bannister. And we've had the pleasure of being your high school captains for 2020. When we anticipated our final year of high school, we couldn't have imagined what was going to be in store for us. Sorry. Despite the challenges, we are proud to stand here with our peers and say we made it. The journey for some of us has been 12 years in the making with some of our, with some of our cohort joining the Hilliard family in just kindergarten in 2009. As a group, we've experienced many highs and also some challenging times as we reflect on the loss of one of our special teachers, Mrs Matthews, just last year. You only need to ask one of our teachers to know that the Year 10 class is a special group. We have formed lifelong friends and made memories that we will cherish forever. Come join us as we spend a few minutes reminiscing on our experiences. This year has certainly been unique. As a whole, we've faced so many changes with COVID-19 that were unprecedented, and we've all had to come together to overcome it. Something that really helped during this year was the teachers. Their support and never-ending effort to help us learn through online school was incredible. Every teacher's support was unique. For example, Mr. McAndrew's incredible Adele Hello parody about his students not being there physically, but online. He made that video to tell us how much the teachers missed us and how it was odd to not have us with him. There was more than just the help of teachers, but also the access of Chromebooks. Made it easier. Having been supplied computers by the school made online school and the pandemic so much more adjustable. And I think made us all realize that we were lucky to go through such a change with the materials we had. Some of us recall the special, the special delivery cars and buses turning up, dropping off precious educational supplies to keep us busy and learning during this time. It was these things that made a challenging time easier on all of us. Hilliard has changed so much since I first arrived in kindergarten in 2009. It was a small school with lots of composite classes and only a handful of teachers. It was like a family which made coming to school each day easier. As I grew, so did the school. Classrooms were added, libraries were built and student numbers increased. One thing that makes Hilliard so special is, I diver is the diversity we have amongst the students. We are a multicultural bunch and that has made this, school's ex this school experience so much easier. Even, sorry, even richer. No matter where you came from, you were always accepted here and that is not something you get in all or many other schools. As the school, ex as the school has grown, we've adapted to support the needs of various learners. The increase, in student the increase in students has meant that we have welcomed many new teachers. The teachers here at Hilliard genuinely care about us and are involved and dedicated in supporting us both in school and outside of school. This has made it feel like Hilliard is a safe place for us. Us. In addition, support staff such as Donna, our school psychologist, has ensured that our well-being has been looked after both in school, sorry, our well-being has been looked after as well as our academic learning. This has been a really positive change for our school. It would be remiss of us to share about our experiences at Hilliard without mentioning the loss of one of our favourite teachers. After a short illness last year, Mrs. Matthews, our beloved teacher, passed, passed away. She was one of those special teachers that my co-captain mentioned before, where she went above and beyond for us. Mrs. Matthews was a really kind and thoughtful person. No matter the challenges we faced, she was always there to support her students. For me, personally, Mrs. Matthews was the first person to sit down with me and try to understand what was going on with me. She worked hard to make adjustments to ensure I was successful. She was never afraid to have a laugh with me, and through, though this year has been tough without her, her memory and legacy will live on at Hilliard. Since our humble beginning with just five students, we've grown into a graduating cohort of 13, with many other students having joined and moved during the last 12 years. Sometimes fitting in can be hard in small schools, but not at Hilliard. No matter the student, we are always accepting them into the family. 
even those who have joined us recently, like in, in the past few years, Martin Jin, V, Isaac, it's like they've always been with us and it's hard to remember times without them. We can't have a graduating speech without sharing some funny memories of our time together here at Hilliard. Like that one time in primary school when Daniel and Friday were messing around and Daniel left the school with an accidental concussion. Or that time when some of the girls decided we would keep a raw egg as a pet for a little over a week, bandaging it when it would crack and making it a home with mini furniture. Not forgetting that phase that over 50% of the class went through when we would eat random plants and things that we found in nature, like bark and those long things that we would suck and chew on from the tree next to the tennis court in Out of Bounds. Or at the end of formal when we decided to go outside and get some fresh air and a very happy lady and her husband decided to pump music so that we would dance with them. We never really were an ordinary bunch of students. As students, we are all on a journey, going forth towards a new adventure. On behalf of my co-captain and myself, we would like to thank you for allowing us to be your captains in 2020. We have enjoyed the opportunity to grow and develop in our leadership this year. To our graduating classmates, we would like to wish you God's blessing on your future endeavours. We hope you blossom into beautiful flowers. Thank you.
It is now our pleasure, it is now our pleasure to announce the 2021 secondary captains. Okay, so the first secondary captain for next year is Benjamin Brady. And the second school captain for next year is Owen Abstenberry. <laughs> It is my pleasure today to announce the Subject Awards for Year 7 students. So it's been lovely being your homeroom teacher this year and not only have you survived your first year of high school but you have thrived. So our first Subject Award is for Design and Technologies Materials and that goes to Joel. Health and Physical Education also goes to Joel. The Spanish Award also to Joel. Okay, Design and Technologies, Food and Textiles to Zandro. The Science Award to Zandro. The Mathematics Award to Zandro. The Year 7 Bible Award goes to Grace Mateo. The English Award, Grace Mateo. The Hass Award, Grace Mateo. Music, also to Grace. <laughs> Design and Technologies, Food and Textiles, Grace. <laughs> Digital Technologies, Timothy. <laughs> and Visual Art to Grace Mateo. Well done, guys. Thank you. like to 
different suites here. So uh, for digital technologies, music, history and social studies, Bible, Ryan Dowsley. Design and Technologies Materials, Design and Technologies Food and Textiles, Bible, Dale. <laughs> For Health and Physical Education, Twester. Design and Technologies, Food and Textiles, Ello. <laughs> For Visual Art and English, Mia. <laughs> Spanish, Science, Mathematics, Ananya. <laughs> Let's give them a final applause. <laughs> Thanks, guys.
Jungle Mellow Beats, holla at me. Yo, what's wrong, Jamal? Uh, nothing, man. Just, you know, life as the usual. Alright, come on. Tell me what's wrong, man. Alright, I'm gonna tell you in a way that will make you understand. <laughs> Nothing good is going on right now.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Katie Mateo, and I have had the pleasure, for the most part, in being the Year 9 Homeroom Teacher for 2020. I just want to say how proud I am of how my students have grown, especially in the last term. Um, a favourite highlight for me has been chapel, and in particular, my Year 9 boys who have stepped up and they're leading in chapel in the songs and the music, and it's been my very favourite lesson of the week to um, spend with them. So thank you for all the memories. Year 9 students. So, my pleasure to um, announce our subject awards for 2020. For the subjects of drama, Link, Bible, brace yourselves, English, Mathematics, History and Social Studies, Science, Health and Physical Education, Cassandra Dalmatio. Well done, Cassandra. For the subject of Link, Arwen. And while you're up here, Arwen also receives the award for music. Well done. The award for Media Arts, and you're about to see a little bit maybe of his work later on, is Brody Press. Well done. For Design and Technologies Materials, Eliel Mafoy. And finally, for Visual Art, um, the Year 9 Award goes to Miss Molly Brady. Well done, Year 9. I think we can safely say that uh, the school has some awesome leaders for next year. Well done.
is now my privilege to hand out the Year 10 Subject Awards. For English, Mathematics and History and Social Sciences, Beatriz Nunes. For Science, Amelia Brady. Also for Science, as well as Music and Health and Physical ed Education, Beatriz Nunes. For Media Arts, Amelia Bannister. For Design and Technologies Food, Amelia Brady. Also for Design and Technologies Food, Beatriz Nunes. For Design and Technologies Materials, Daniel Finity. For Visual Art, Amelia Bannister. For Drama, Karen Mapoy. And finally, for Link and Bible, Beatriz Nunes. Let's give them one last round of applause. The Hilliard Christian School Citizenship Award is held annually to recognise young people in each year level who have shown a great level of commitment to their school and the Hilliard Christian School community. The Hilliard Christian School C Citizenship Award is presented to the student who meets the following selection criteria. Being a willing participant in activities and is reliable when given extra responsibilities, considers the needs of others and shows respect, cares for the school and the community environment, and lastly, is enthusiastic in reaching their personal potential and goals. Congratulations to the Year 7 recipient this year, Grace Mateo. Congratulations to the Year 8 recipient, Ryan McIntyre. Congratulations to the Year 9 recipient, Molly Brady. And congratulations to the Year 10 recipient, Amelia Bannister. Let's give them a round of applause.
The Andrew Wilkie Award recognises a student in year nine or 10 who has been involved in community service. This year's recipient has dedicated their time at the Adventist Development and Relief, Relief Agency shop. So congratulations, Amelia Bannister. The Elise Archer Personal Achievement Award is an opportunity to recognize the individual achievement of a year 10 student. This year, this award is being given to a student who, despite challenges, was valued and demonstrated perseverance and determination in order to meet these challenges and has achieved admirable, admirable personal growth. Congratulations to this year's recipient of the Elise Archer Personal Achievement Award, Ma Tin Tin. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ma was unable to make it today, but we'll give her a clap anyway. The Australian Defence Force offers a award called the ADF Long Tan Youth and Leadership Award and this award is given by the military or the Defence Force in recognition of someone who has met a succession of criteria relating to leadership and community involvement. It's my pleasure to announce that the winner of this year's Long Tan Youth Leadership Teamwork Award is Amelia Brady. This year the Australian Defence Force has also offered a 2020 Future Innovators Award. And I'm delighted to invite Cheyenne Halley up as a recipient of this award. The Year 10 Sanitarium Information Technology Excellence Award is awarded to a Year 10 student who has demonstrated an exceptional use of technologies in all aspects of their learning. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Jackson Flack. The Sanitarium Information Technology Excellence Open Award is awarded to a secondary student who has completed an exceptional IT related project. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Ryan Dowsley. Let's give these boys a round of applause. The Caltech's Best All-Rounder Award has earned a reputation for being one of Australia's most respected second secondary education recognition programs. It has been presented to thousands of final year students, acknowledging their all-round contributions to their schools and communities. The recipient excels academically, in leadership, in service to their community and in sports. Congratulations to this year's recipient of the Caltech's Best All-Rounder Award, Amelia Brady. I'm honoured to present 
the Susan Matthews Writing Award for the year. This is a relatively new, with the inaugural award starting last year and made possible through the generosity of Mr Graham Matthews, husband of the late Susan Matthews. Mrs Matthews loved English, loved students and loved writing. This award honours her memory for her passion for education and creative writing. This year, the winner of the 2020 Senior Writing Competition with a short story titled Everything at Once goes to Amelia Bannister.
other news students being caught not wearing hat in the sun. And that's the merit right there. Security! No! <laughs> Well, I'm not Mr. Littlewood, and I don't know what to say after all that. I think Mr. McAndrew's leaving. 
<laughs> hence the protest. Uh, well, it's disappointing that, Alex, you have to leave us. Four years, and we really have appreciated your, your work here at the school. I better say, I'm Gary Webster, the chairman of the Adventist Schools Tasmania. And it's uh, my privilege, well, it's not really a privilege, is it, to say goodbye to somebody? But uh, we really have appreciated, Andrew, what you've done for the school as the high school coordinator. And you're going to be moving to sunny Queensland. I think it's also sticky Queensland and a few other things. Um, but we are going to miss you down here. And uh, we'd like you just to come forward for a moment while he's coming forward. I want to just say a big thank you to all the students and congratulations to you for you and the staff for getting through a very difficult year and some great things happening at the school, isn't it, Mr Littlewood? With the uh, year 11 and 12, that's a fantastic milestone. And uh, also the, the re-registration the, from the Tasmanian Government Registration Board, that's a wonderful thing and the growing of the school. If you look around right now and look at each other, you'll realise that four years ago there was only half this number pretty much. So look what you've done, Mr McAndrew. You've grown the school in four years. Congratulations. said it so if you're late just go watch it on the feed um, no, it has been a privilege to be here I've appreciated every one of you um, I've loved it um, what an amazing place to come for your, your first teaching experience out of uni and um, yeah I know last night I was as I was writing my my leave of speech I was getting all teary my wife's like what's going on I'm like oh well it's just hit me you know I've, I've fallen in love with this place and these people so thank you for that and I'll miss you all heaps together. Dear Lord, uh, as we come to the end of our ceremony today, Lord, we reflected on the hard work that, uh, that the kids have done and um, reflected on the fact that we're, we're losing some of them and, and also our beloved staff members as well. And uh, Lord, our hearts are, are sad about that, but also really enthusiastic about the future that you have prepared. You promise that you know the plans that you have for us, they're plans to prosper us and not to harm us, to give us a hope and a future. And, uh, Lord, as we look towards the future, Lord, we know it's going to be bright because we keep you at the centre. And so I pray that you bless our staff, bless our students, and, um, and, uh, and for those of us that are coming back next year, Lord, bring us all back together again for another wonderful year as a family. In Jesus' name, amen. Just as we finish, there are a few thank yous that we should acknowledge. First of all, to the people who haven't been on the camera, who've been managing the live stream, I'd like to say a big thank you to Darren, Derek and Lauren. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> to Mr McAndrew and the high school staff who put today's program together, well done. I think we saw some talents on video and maybe news presenters that... Uh, didn't quite realise that we had, so we'll be ringing Channel 7 later, see what they can do. And um, thank you also to our bus drivers for bringing people backwards and forwards and then for staying along to enjoy. Thank you very much and goodbye.